Today on Let's Get Real, we're talking lightsabers. Uh, let's go. Hey there guys. Hey there guys. Hey there guys. Hey there guys. What's up? What's up? It's me, Trey Vidman. Hey there my Vidlins. My name's Trey Vidman and welcome to another Vidman video. Today I wanted to kind of do a collection video kind of showing you guys all of my crazy amount of lightsaber collection. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I have a ton more. <laughs> Alright guys, so today I'm going to be showing you guys my crazy lightsaber, um, I wouldn't even call it a collection, more of an obsession, there's a creepy baby in here, that's creepy. Uh, so yeah, we're going to be going through these, some of these um, I don't own, but are, are my brothers, uh, there's just a few of them in there. I own most of them, uh, because I bought them recently, yeah. So let's go! Alright guys, so first off, I want to get uh, some of the cheaper ones out of the way, so this one, man this thing's loud. So this one is a laser uh, space sword um, that I bought from Walmart. Some Dollar Tree lightsabers that I really just bought for the LEDs, though I do kind of like the handle design, they're kind of cool. Oh guys, by the way, guess who I found? I will devour your soul. Yeah, so I was really excited that I found him. Uh, my mom actually found him in the laundry room. So if you guys don't know who this is, um, this is Blob of Fat. I will post a link in the description on the video that I got him in. I wanted to have him in most of my videos, but I haven't really been able to. Uh, so I'm really happy to have him back there so I can... He's, he's kind of my mascot. You know, I, I love that little dude. Alright, so now we're going to get into uh, some of the more recent, the Star Wars ones. Um, so, we got Darth Vader, Anakin's, Anakin's, Luke's, now Rey's, Obi-Wan, Luke Skywalker, which is one of my favorites. I was so happy to see that they finally had his out. So that's, that's really exciting. And then one of my personal favorites, Kylo Ren's. I love this lightsaber so much. Just the overall look of it and everything. It's it's just so fun. Alright, so now um, to kind of save the electronic older ones for later, um, I'm going to go into the uh, flick out ones. So uh, here we go. So we got two Darth Maul ones. The reason I have two of them is because my mom and dad got my brother and I both out. Both um, a Darth Maul one for Christmas one year. Yeah, the funny thing is, is most of this collection is encouraged by my parents, because why not? By the way, if you guys are wondering why I'm filming in a different location today, um, first of all, it's none of your business. None of your business. Second of all, I just really kind of wanted to. Okay, right, so now to uh, another more recent one. We got Kylo Ren's again, one of my favorite lightsabers. Uh, sadly, one of the smaller blades broke so I mean, what you're gonna do here's another one of the more recent electronic ones the light only works on this I don't know what happened to the speaker but I bought it at a garage sale so at least the light works and we got this one that you guys think may have had this one in one of my videos earlier yes I did it was uh, the lightsaber clip that you guys are able to use for the blade builders lightsabers the ones with the holes on the bottom so if you guys want to check out that, uh, go ahead and check that out. I will put that in the description as well. So we got this. So now we're getting into the older um, flick out lightsabers. Yeah, so we got a lot of Anakins. Uh, we got Qui-Gon. Oh well, I do have a one with a green blade. Oh, there it is. I actually found this one on garage sale. I heard it was kind of rare, so I was like, I'm picking that one up. Alright, so then we got Obi-Wan Kenobi, broken blade. I am not light on my lightsabers. I seriously, my brother and I, we don't try to break them, but we have a history of it. The little blade builder thing. Alright, so now we're into the electronic lightsabers. They are just super fun, and they're really just a blast to my past. It, it really brings up old memories, old good memories, because uh, I've been collecting this stuff since 
think I've said before, five years old. So I'm, I'm a big fan of it. I love it so much. That's why I have such a huge collection. So yeah, we're gonna get into these. Ha ha, found me. Now we can actually have that in the video. All right, so first one up is uh, probably one of the fondest memories that I've had. My build your own lightsaber Disney lightsaber. I love this thing, it's so much fun. Um, and it's really cool just being able to look at it and know that it's a design that you came up with. Uh, this one actually isn't the original design that I came up with at Disney. Um, I'm actually missing some of the parts for that. But my brother and I since then have found like packs and packs of the stuff for it. So we have quite a bit of fun uh, messing around with that. Second one is uh, probably one of my favorites. It's definitely one of the most fun lightsabers to play around with because there's so many options to it. The color changing Anakin Skywalker lightsaber from episode 3. It's just, it's so fun to play around with. Um, just being able to switch between red and blue. I know they have a more advanced one now, but I just, I love how way back when each of the lightsabers really had a different sound to them. I don't know, it just, it makes you feel like they put a lot more care into them. Uh, not that I don't like the ones now, I really do. I just, I love how that was a feature uh, back then. All right, so now we got, oh. Okay, well, apparently the blade broke on this one, which is sad because I really like this one. But we have a Mace Windu lightsaber. This one is really beat up. Um, I'm realizing this right now, uh, but it's definitely one of my favorite um, hilts. It's definitely one of uh, my favorite lightsabers, but you know, stuff happens. And like I said, we're not, we're not easy on our lightsabers, so it's understandable that that, that happens. So now we go on to this one. This one came out uh, with the Clone Wars series uh, a while back. Um, my brother and I actually got them for Christmas. And I, I, it's such a fun lightsaber. I wish it was a little bit more sensitive and it didn't shut off like that. So, you know, I wish it was a little bit more sensitive. I wish it didn't, uh, didn't take so much beating to, uh, to actually make it make the sound. Um, but they did a, uh, very good medium between too light and too hard on to get the sound with uh, these next lightsabers after this one. So this next one you guys might be a little confused by. Uh, you guys might be a little, you might not know who it is, but this one is a yellow Bible man laser sword. That's right, yeah, it, I was, I was a Bible man kid. Still have the cape. I don't know if I still have the mask. But I did. So yeah, I was a Bible Man kid. I love, I love Bible Man. I think he is such a great superhero. He mixed a lot of my favorite things together. So it was, it was a really great show. Yeah, I, it, it was definitely one of my favorites. So uh, yeah, so there's that one. I love the design. Um, I think it's really cool. I don't remember what it sounds like because apparently I broke it a long time ago. If you guys can see that there um, but yeah apparently I broke it a long time ago as I did also with the blade so uh, yeah that's a little bit of a problem but you know it's okay I mean it still it still has the memories uh, this is the ultimate effects Anakin Skywalker lightsaber it was one of my first straight blade lightsabers uh, which is awesome it, it was my first straight it's my only straight blade with sound but it's it's definitely a very fun lightsaber it served me very well um, I really enjoy it so uh, yeah there's that one now we'll go on to my favorite of the Star Wars lightsabers all right so these are my absolute favorite 
out of any of the lightsabers that I have except for the full aluminum lightsabers that I'll show you guys after. But this is my collection, my, I believe, completed collection. If it's not completed, let me know in the comments. But this is my completed collection of the pop-out lightsabers. These by far are one of the best quality lightsabers I have ever come by, ever. They're just amazing. And after years and years of use and abuse, they all still work, which is something that you can't save for like anything. So I'm gonna shut these off because uh, it's getting a little loud and probably hard to hear me. So I'm gonna shut these things off. So by far, these lightsabers are some of my favorites out of my entire collection. These are the perfect medium in sensitivity for uh, the swing and the clash. The sound font is just incredible. I, I loved these lightsabers. Plus, it's super fun to be able to just stand there and go, Fight me, boy! So yeah, by far, these are my absolute favorite lightsabers. Not to mention, they came in some of my favorite styles. They have the Obi-Wan Kenobi. They had the Anakin Skywalker, which by far is one of the most iconic lightsabers, and I'm not really surprised that they had this, but it's just really neat that they did. And the Darth Vader. Now, granted, it might not be the most accurate representation of the Darth Vader lightsaber, but by far, it's one of my favorites. Plus, they have the ring on it, so you're able to connect it to your belt, and it's just really fun. And again, if you guys want a uh, tutorial on how to make a clip for that super easily. Um, it's the same one as the Blade Builders tutorial. Just check that one out in the description. I probably will also have it at the end of the video as well. All right, so we have now finished the box of lightsabers, and we are going on to the more advanced ones. Now, granted, I only have two of these so far, <laughs> but um, they are definitely by far my favorites. They aren't the brightest right now, but uh, yeah, here they are. So by far, out of any lightsabers that I have in my collection, my favorite lightsabers have to be my Ultra Sabers. These are just such great quality lightsabers. They are absolutely incredible, and they're just really well made. Now, I'm not sponsored by them, but I just really believe in their product, and I think that they are definitely incredible and so much fun to use um, I've gone through a couple blades gonna be honest here but uh, yeah they are definitely some of my favorites now these aren't at their full brightness um, I have an open window right here like a big one uh, that's where most of my light is coming in so if they're not super bright that's why is because um, I've been using these a lot and their batteries are kind of low and also I'm in front of a big window um, in the middle of the day. So if you need a reason, that's why. So yeah, these are by far my favorite lightsabers. Um, now I'm gonna show you guys uh, kind of just an overview to show you guys how ridiculous uh, this collection is. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna set these things up and I'm gonna do an overview. So uh, let's do that. Let's go. Alright, so there you guys go. That is my kind of overwhelming lightsaber collection. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. I always love uh, sharing with you guys uh, kind of different parts of my life, kind of letting you guys know uh, just how big of a Star Wars geek I am and how much I enjoy the franchise. I mean, it's just, it's incredible to see all of this stuff that's come from just this incredible franchise that brings people together and really just is an incredible work of art. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you guys did, make sure to like it and subscribe to my channel and just, you know, 
keep being awesome. Uh, comment down below uh, what lightsabers you guys have, and if you guys would like to see some of them a little bit more in depth, uh, whether it be a review or just kind of you know an overview of whatever you guys want to see. So just let me know what you guys think in the description. If you guys are new to this channel, uh, make sure to uh, go to my channel and watch my other videos. Make sure to click that bell if you guys haven't to make sure that you guys get the updates for whenever I release a new video. Make sure also to check out my social media pages. I got an Instagram, I got a Twitter, I got a Facebook, and I have a Musical.ly now. I don't know if I can link that in the description, but all you guys have to do is look up Trey Vidman on Musical.ly and you guys will find me there. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you guys at the next video or wherever I'll catch you guys. Thank you guys and I'll see you guys later.